Welcome everyone to Nikki Loves Books. Nikki here and today we have a bookish box to unbox. I believe last time we opened a bookish box it was the young adult February bookish box. So I think this is probably the adult February bookish box. Let's open it up and find out. And looking at our newsletter I am right this is the adult February 2023 bookish box. Let's go ahead and go through our newsletter really really quick. So hello, welcome to the Bookish Box. Here are our options that you can choose from if you want to do a book only, a book and goodies, if you want to do book goodies and t-shirt. There's a lot of options with Bookish Box. Just realize that it is August and we're just now getting our February adult box. They're a bit behind and we're all hoping that they catch up soon. They then have the information for the young adult bookish box of that month because it's one newsletter for both. We're going to skip over that. If you're interested in those items, check out my video on my channel. And then of course we get into the items for of the adult bookish box this month. And I won't be reading those now because I read them to you once I reveal those items. And the theme for our adult February 2023 bookish box is Romantic Royals. They included a bookish crossword puzzle this month, which will be a lot of fun. They also highlighted some emotional support animals of their staff, which is super cute. They also have a Spotify collection, highlight of some items in the shop, and then information about their social media. That is it for the newsletter. Let's move on. First item we have, the Book of Breathings book wallet. I'm so excited to open this. So here it is. It does have a keychain. It says the Book of Breathings. And it's a small wallet where you can put your coins and a few cards. I like this so much. For some reason, I do not have a small wallet. Like, I just have one of those big ones. And sometimes I just need my ID, my debit card or credit card. And that's all. It was not a book, not with paper and leather. It had been formed of dark metal plates bound on three rings of gold, silver, and bronze, each word carved with painstaking precision. Sarah J. Moss, A Court of Mist and Fury. Show off your love of Sarah J. Moss's A Court of Thorns and Roses series by carrying this beautiful Book of Breathings bookish wallet designed by At the Bitter Season. This is super cool. I love the design. Of course, it's a Sarah J. Moss item, so I'm in love. I can't wait to use this. Next, we have a Song of Ice and Fire inspired hair clip. I want more book hair accessories, please. And here is that clip. So it's a hair clip, one of these. And it's got dragons on it. Not gonna lie, I wish they did more with this than just the dragons on the clip. Like, I wish that there was more design throughout this hair clip, but I'm so happy to have another hair clip, especially one with dragons on it. Dragon hair clip made for all our fiery book dragons out there. This cute dragon hair clip inspired by A Song of Fire and Ice by George R.R. R. Martin will make you look fierce. Designed by our very own team at the Bookish Box. Again, cute design. You should have just done more. Next, we have a shelf silhouette. This is a blood and ash inspired shelf silhouette. I am terrible and have not read from Blood and Ash yet. But if you guys have been watching my channel, I literally just finished reading the Lux series last month. So that was my first introduction to Jennifer L. Armentrout. And she is on my top favorite authors now. Love, love, love. And I cannot wait to devour the Blood and Ash series. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. I love this. I love everything about this. Add a touch of bookish to your bookcase with the stunning Poppy and Castell shelf silhouette inspired by Jennifer L. Armentrout's The Crown of Gilded Bones, designed by At The Bookish Box. I love this so much. Like, it's so, it's so pretty. Like, I need to just, I just need to go read from Blood and Ash. I, I shouldn't even be doing this. Like, I should just be reading in a corner and just devouring those books right now. Next we have our pocket book bay. So these are like little art prints of book boyfriends, I guess. So our book bay this month is Death and it is transparent. So that's why I'm using the white as a background for this. Because as soon as I take that white back that we can barely see it. So here is Death and it's a very cool piece of art. 
Introducing the second book bay in our 2023 pocket book bay collection is Death from Karina Hale's River of Shadows. Have not read. These collectible pocket book bays are perfect for display or to be used as bookmarks. Designed by at Fern and Amaya. I think the artwork's beautiful. I'm not really crazy about these pocket book bays. I'm just using them as bookmarks, which I could always use more bookmarks because I love bookmarks. So it works out for me anyways. Next we have new Camelot inspired foiled notebook. And it says, sometimes the forbidden fruit is too sweet not to bite. And here is the inside. So it's just a small miniature notebook. What inspires you to write? This foiled notebook features a spicy quote from New Camelot by Sierra Simone, love her, that gets your creative juices flowing. Designed by at MK Web. I do use a lot of notebooks, especially to keep track of my book reviews and my thoughts on books I read. So a notebook is always handy. And to go along with our notebook, we have a pen, House of Beating Wings inspired pen. Oh, and I love it. It's a bunch of back crystals on this part that you can move around in the pen. And that is going to be so distracting for me. And the quote says, no one owns the sky. The sky is the limit when writing with this House of Beating Wings inspired pen designed by At The Bookish Box with No One Owns The Sky engraved on the side. I'm more excited about the top of the pen than the engraving. It's just because I'm easily distracted and very easily amused. All right, everyone in our main event, very excited to see what the book is. We have The Dark King by Gina L. Maxwell. Very cool cover, very Vegasy. Our featured title is The Dark King by Gina L. Maxwell. For Burn Miera, a free trip to the exclusive and ultra luxe Nightfall Hotel and Casino in Vegas should have been the perfect way to escape the debris of her crumbling career. But waking up from a martini and lust fueled night to find herself married to Caden Varen, the reclusive billionaire who owns the hotel and most of the city isn't the jackpot one would think. It seems her dark and sexy new husband is actual royalty, the fey king of the night court, and there's an entire world beneath the veil of Vegas. Whether light or shadow, the fey are a far cry from fairy tales, and now they've made burn a pawn in their dark games for power. And Caden is the most dangerous of all an intoxicating cocktail of sin and raw, insatiable hunger. She should run. But every night of passion pulls Byrne deeper into a strange and sinister world until she's no longer certain she wants to leave even if she could. Color me intrigued. I am so excited to be reading this, especially because I'm not too crazy about the book I'm currently reading. So I'm currently reading Guilty Pleasures, which is the first book in the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series. And I don't think I'm gonna be continuing on with the series. Unfortunately, it's not as good as I expected it to be, especially from what I've heard about it. So I want to move on to this as soon as possible. Our exclusive Lux hardcover edition includes our cover done by at Raven Pages Design, a signed page overlay, reverse dust jacket done by at Phantom Rin. We have a foiled hardcover case as well as stenciled edges, both done by at Raven Pages Design, illustrated end pages. There's an exclusive bonus scene as well. So that concludes our adult February 2023 bookish box. Thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see me do more unboxing videos. And make sure you're subscribed so you can join me for more bookish fun.